Hello, hello. Mm. Welcome, 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 my happy, empowered empaths. I'm always so excited to come here and connect with you. Glad that we could be here again. Ah, so giving everyone a few moments to pop on. I am psychic medium Samantha Fay. Uh, for those of you who are new to this channel or new to this style of readings, the way that we do this is I open up a container, open up a space so that even though you are not watching this either live or here with me in person, we are in a multi-dimensional container that allows for the movement of healing energy to move and come through. So this isn't just a reading space. If you are here and you are listening to this, uh, no matter if it's live or on the replay, you will be able to experience your own energetic upgrade. When we're working in this space, time and space do not exist as it does here in our third dimension. So we have this really incredible ability to be able to tune into this space and really it is a co-creation. So whether you're watching this in present time with me now or on the replay, your energy is still contributing to the whole. So with that being said, when I was um, setting up the space for this today, I did get an insight that there would be a contact reading. I usually do not do that in this open space. So um, if you have a loved one who has recently passed that you would like to connect with, please do let me know. We will do that. Um, I also have, as you can see in the description, there is a link there for you. Uh, I do ask that as you are being here that you tune into your intuition and contribute uh, what you are able to contribute. That helps to keep me going to help as many people as I can through this COVID time. I really don't want uh, anybody to not be able to receive healing, not be able to receive guidance or any sort of reprieve from you know, the world as it be outside of us. It seems to be just such a challenge. My goal is to really create this nice little golden pocket of love and healing for so many of us. So if you can contribute, if you can donate, I please do ask that you do. Um, if you would like to join the Monad Society, please also click on that link. It is all by donation. You get access to the archive of Moon Club and some of my basic entry level energetic connection sort of classes. So. If you are on here, please do send some comments. Let me see who's coming on. Usually Facebook uh, gives me a little bit more than who's here. I see Charles, I see Ray, I see Amy. But other than that, please do just type in, say hello. Let me know that you are here. If you are open to a reading, please do just simply say open. Uh, I am going to start by opening our container with a prayer. And as we open that container with a prayer, hi, Kelly. Hi, Heidi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. So as we open that container with a prayer, I do also ask and invite you to set your intention. What is it that you would like to receive? And what is it that you would, what kind of insights would you like to get going here? All right, beautiful. So Rebecca, hello. Kim, hello. Amy, hello. Adriana, hello. Yay. All right. Beautiful. Gang's all here. <laughs> all right, my loves, let's go ahead and open that container space. I invite you to close your eyes and take a couple nice big deep breaths. And if you're here now, I do encourage you to stay through to the end. If you can, at least leave the phone open and on for you. And if you can eliminate Distractions, eliminate distractions, receive with your eyes closed in a state of full presence. As we call in divine truth and love into this sacred space, we invoke the highest possible healing for each and every viewer, replayer, and myself. We ask for the courage and compassion to speak and to hear from the purest form of self-love and forgiveness to all involved. The first the very first thing that I'm picking up, and I think this is for me, but I'm going to share it in here with you as well. Um, very first thing that I'm picking up here is I'm hearing, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? 
And what I'm hearing around the Are You Ready? It's that there are blessings and rewards for you to receive. There has been so much intensity and a lot of negative energies this year. It's unavoidable. We've all touched into them. We've all felt panic, fear, uh, limbo, uncertainty. We've all felt like the ground is wobbling. We've all, you know, just kind of been like, what, the, what is going on? So with all of that, this insight, this, and I'm going to go ahead and call this our anchor theme, that this is our anchor theme for the reading that, um, as you lean into it, as you lean into the medicine that is here for you, know that there are rewards coming, that there are blessings coming for you. And as they come for you, your only job, literally your only job is to allow yourself to be open to receiving them. So even as you are all saying open, 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 that you're open for readings here, go ahead and do that with, <laughs> with your universe, with your high, highest self, with the guides and beings and angels that you're working with, do the same thing. Just heart open, shoulders back. I'm ready. I'm open. I'm willing to receive. You can even type it in the comments as an affirmation for yourself. I'm open. I'm ready. I'm willing to receive. Now, what this also means is we're going to set the intention here to release old codes. What does that mean? So releasing the old codes, meaning you have been downloading or you have received encoding from society, from yourself, from your genetics, from your soul's experience that has got you up into this point. And now what's happening is we're shifting from old earth into new earth. We're shifting from old, uh, 3D and anchoring 5D here on the planet. This is creating heaven here on earth. For, those of us, for some of us, it already exists. For those of us, some of us are really still looking for it. So as we're doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to be releasing. Beautiful. Heidi Joy, I see open, willing to receive and release old codes. So releasing these old codes and these old frequencies are actually going to make space and give you the room to be able to receive the new codes. Beautiful. And I'm just going to repeat because I see a lot more people hopping on. If you're able in a space to donate, please do click the link in the description as well as join the Monad Society by also clicking that link all by donation to get, uh, to get access to the recordings of Moon Club. Beautiful. All right. So I'm just going to start by opening a channel. Beautiful. Amy, Ray, Adriana, beautiful. Kelly. We're all open, ready to receive, letting that go. All right, so I'm just going to open that channel and start bringing in some light language to release those, those old codes, release them through from your space. If you need to get up and move your body, great. Wiggle around, shake out your legs, shake out your arms. If you feel better in stillness, go ahead and do that. I have a feeling this is going to be uh, quite potent because I can already feel it coming through myself. All right. A lot of the prayer of what I'm seeing is releasing um, resentment and hatred. Uh, not necessarily towards people, but also towards yourself for not having or obtaining some of the things of, that people have that you see around you. Social media is really bad for that. Um, ingraining this idea of, well, you don't have what other people had, so you may be less than, or you're probably unworthy, or you're not enough. And really, it's just a figment of our own imagination. So I'm seeing where that encoding um, and that comparisitis is coming through and coming out. The other piece of what I, I'm seeing happening is that 
some of you are listening to this and really fully waking up. It's like you've already woken up, you're already aware of some things, but now it's about stepping into your gifts and actually being able to offer a facilitation and a space, holding space for other people. And what I'm seeing is that there's a block around um, what other people around you are thinking. Like you're worried that if you do that, if you put yourself out there in what sort of way that other people around you are going to judge or also think you're not good enough or maybe they know some of your dirty, dark secrets or maybe they've been, you've been the villain in their story and what would they think if you all of a sudden came out and started helping other people. And I can tell you that we have all played every single role in the book. We've all been a villain in someone else's story. We've all been the savior in someone else's story and everything in between. So no matter the circumstances, let it flow through. When the codes tick like that, I notice that there is a specific focus on a place of stuck energy. So just again, continue to breathe, continue to breathe. Yo kuani asia wa potua, yo suani a potua, yo suakete awani awa, ayakete ani awa, siakete ni awa, suakete ani awa, sukutu ani a, siakete ani a. Yo kuani asia kete ni awa, sukutu ani sikete ani, sukutu ani sikete ani, sukutu ani sikete ani, sikete ani sikete ani, sikete ani sikete ani, sikete ani sikete ani, sikete ani sikete ani, sukutu ani adi 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 o apone a, o apone a wa, o ane apone a wa, o apone a wa, o asikete ani a wa. O asakatiani awa, o asakatiani awa, si akatea awa, yo ana yawa, kayana yawa, so katea, sikatea, sikatea, sukutua, 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 si akatea awa, ayakane, ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
stay with it. Remember, if you're in here, if you're in this container, you're receiving the healing. So even if you're just popping on, I encourage you to stay as long as you can, if not to the end, because you're all, you already dipped yourself into a whirlwind of healing energy. Beautiful. All right, I haven't done contact readings in, in a while. <laughs> So it might be a little rusty here, but we'll see. We'll open those medium channels back up. All right. So Venda Stinton, Venda Stinton, Venda Stinton. All right. I'm picking up, um, interesting, I'm picking up quite a bit of aggressive energy. Uh, it looks like there's aggression around her. It also looks like there's a bit of aggression around her death. Um, it does look like... It's interesting that she's here specifically for this particular channel and reading since we were looking at like uh, hate and resentment towards other people because I'm seeing that there is like... That she wasn't quite ready to go. I'm seeing that she is still quite angry about it. If there's anything I've learned from being a medium, it's that uh, I, I do now fully believe in unfinished business. Um, it's like I'm feeling this aggression in the shoulders, back of the neck, and like around through my head. My whole body is starting to get hot around it, what she's trying to show me. She's showing me that she was in process of um, creating something for herself uh, and also for others and she's really upset and she's mad that she wasn't able to fully bring it into completion um, she is asking Gracie she is asking for you to uh, open your heart space to be able to connect in with her a little bit more um, she's asking that you can um, I'm seeing incense. It's like for you to be open the space, this is what is important for you to do. It's to light a white candle and light some incense, setting the intention that you're opening the space to connect with her. And then what I'm seeing is using a pen and paper to do automatic writing. So the automatic writing would be um, so something that I personally like to do is to create a dialogue. So it would be like pretend that you're writing a script or something like that. So it would be um, Gracie hi Venda and then Venda would respond and you would just respond what comes out this is called automatic writing and it will allow her to connect in with you part of what I'm seeing and getting is that uh, this isn't exactly the time and place right here on this live to be able to share some of this information that she has to share with you through that and so it is important for you to open up and be the channel with that and for you as well um, now, part of what I'm seeing, it's like it's very similar to us as humans, is that we have the light aspect and dark aspect. This is, our, this is part of our soul. This isn't part of the egoic consciousness. The composition of our own soul is light and dark. Uh, and so with that, what I'm seeing here is that you have the ability to connect in more clearly and more fully with her by being able to access and tune into your own light and dark energy. See how even the lighting on this screen right now just turned dark? <laughs> it's kind of funny how that happens. Um, especially when like energy and technology move very quickly together. So it's kind of funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, that dark energy is like she's asking for support. She's asking for help in being able to soften and release that. Part of what it is, is a connection also to how you and the family have been able to process her death. And so around that space, it is important to bring light to it. It is, it is about celebrating the life that she had, celebrating the person that she be, finding the light attributes of her, and being able to really, really, truly, from the core of your heart, be able to celebrate the experience of life that you were able to have with her. Um, and, and honoring that in, in your most divine alignment for yourself as well. Ultimately going through this process that I just shared with you will help to bring you into alignment with your gifts as well. It will help to connect you into how you are able to read and connect with spirit because I do see that you have those gifts and oftentimes I do see people waking up through death of a loved one, near death experiences, divorce, any, a lot of times like 
abrupt trauma or abrupt change pushes people into an awakening unlike any other. So I do see that that was part of your two soul agreements together is that she's here to also help you into the next step of your own journey as you are there to help her as well. There's like a very beautiful simpatico relationship going on here with her as a spirit being able to guide you and you as a human being able to help her um, continue to let go of the earth world, let go of the third dimension. That is something also that I've learned as a medium is that um, not all spirits immediately transition into the light. That in some cases there are things, especially if there was a, especially if there's a lot of negativity surrounding their death, they oftentimes um, don't transition immediately because there's still more work for them to do. And that's part of what I'm seeing here. Yeah, just a lot of aggression. I'm going to go ahead and communicate with her and just drop in for a minute. I'm letting her know that it's okay, that she doesn't have to fight anymore. Take some of that aggression is being taken out on me for making contact, but ultimately I see that it is that wounded aspect of the inner child, the wounded aspect of um, what was not seen to completion. And behind that, there's a lot of tears. A lot of tears moving through. And with every tear that is shed, with every tear that falls, there's a release of the hatred, there's a release of the resentment, there's a release of these things that no longer serve. Let's all go ahead and take a nice big deep breath, connect root chakra all the way down to the center of the planet. So inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth, visualizing root chakra all the way down to the center of the planet. Do that a couple of times until you feel a full connection. There you go, and just simply release. Let it flow down, let it release. Uh, Gracie, what I really would love, um, what I really would love to share with you is the importance of really being able to, um, to connect with her in a very gentle and very easy, easy way. Uh, okay. You have your white candle and incense tomorrow because of, okay. Her death broke our family closeness. Okay. You and her are very close. Beautiful. Yeah. She's still, she's still there around. I see that sometimes you are not able to connect. Um, Gracie, you can message me uh, through Messenger. That's perfect. Um, yes, the family misses her so much. I do see that there is some healing for her to do on the other side of her own, her own soul progression. Uh, and then ultimately, I actually do see her being able to be a guide and a guardian of the house. That she really um, is able to turn into the angel that is able to traverse between worlds, but right now I'm seeing more or less that she is a bit stuck and that there is, um, there, there are a few things that you can do to help her move through that. And like I said, as you help her move through that, she will be able to, um, grow through it and you will be able to grow through it. There, there's a lot of rewards and blessings in this for all of you. It might be a bit emotional and that's okay. Let the emotions come through, feel what you need to feel, let your body fully embrace every single moment of it. And it really will, like, I do see it being a beautiful experience for all of you. If anyone in your family, if anyone in your family is calm and peaceful and open to doing this with you, you can allow, um, you can allow that to take place as well. Like they can join you. Um, but any, any bit of anger, any bit of aggression still in the room as you are working with her and helping her release and do some healing, uh, is, is not, it's going to be, it's counteractive. It won't help. It won't work. For you, I see that you're capable and able to be in that very gentle pl place of stillness, of acceptance of what is, of understanding where it is that you are, understanding where it is that you be, that there's a point of contact with your own soul 
that will allow you to really surrender into the healing as well. It's going to be very, very beautiful experience and that's what's going to up level you into another level of your own spiritual maturity and uh, ultimately wisdom. Beautiful. All right. So hello, Carolyn. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Patrice. Hello, Heidi. Noel. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a couple nice, big, deep breaths. That was a lot to witness. I see a lot of you just had a lot of eye-opening experiences. Maybe some of that was stuff that you never knew, never heard of before. Some new information coming in. Let's go ahead and take a couple nice, big, deep breaths. We're going to continue to release old encoding. Some of that old encoding is our view and association around death and what death is. In my personal and very humble experience and opinion, death is simply a doorway. Death is simply a doorway. All right, Gracie, beautiful. Let's release some anger right now. How about all of us? Sounds like a good idea to release some anger. I've been having these experiences where I just want to scream at the top of my lungs because there's a lot of rage and anger coming through me as well. So let's just set that prayer right now. Think of the thing that makes you absolutely the, the most angry. And let's not even think. Feel inside of your body. Let yourself get really angry. What is it that angers you the most about your own life? What is it that angers you the most about your own relationship with yourself? What is it that angers you the most about anything? My relationship with anger has been extremely subdued. It takes a lot for me to get angry. Um, I don't like being around anger. Um, it, the associations with me are centered around violence uh, and craziness. And so I've done everything I can to keep letting it all go. So with that, it's been very subdued. So, and as empaths, I know that for a lot of us, it's not super easy to get angry. So right now you have full permission to feel angry. Get that anger boiling up inside. Feel in your body, where is the anger stored? Where is it causing tension? Where is it causing a place that you can't quite seem to reach your way around or move through because anger is blocking it. And maybe you didn't even know that it was anger. Maybe you're like, wow, there's a block here and I don't even know how to get through it because you're blind to your own anger, your own resentment, your own hate. Go ahead and feel it. Feel, feel, feel. You have full permission, full acceptance. You are a divine human. Doesn't make you less spiritual to be angry. Great. Go ahead and feel it, feel it, feel it. Pull it to the surface. Give yourself permission to feel. Lean into it. Bring in the vibration of forgiveness to those around you and those in your past. Yoana Siakanaya, Yoana Siakanaya, Yoana Siakanaya, Yoana Siakanaya, Yoana Siakanaya. Give yourself full permission to let go. Surrender it completely. For some, this may be an aspect of your own identity, your egoic identity that you are leaving behind, that you are letting go of. This is the releasing of the old codes. Yo I, yo I, yo I, yo I, ya ni yo I, yo ani I, wa ya na ya, wa ya na ya. Oh, ya na ya 
kiaya, wo na ya ya, wo no ya ya, wo no ya ya, ya ya o a ya ne ya ya, yo ho o a ya ya ne ya, yo a ya ne ya ya ya. Yo ana ya o a ya na ya ya. Yo hu o ni ya ya na ya ya. Big deep breaths, big deep breaths. Remember to breathe. Yo hu na ya, yo hu na ya, yo hu na ya. Connecting with your heart. Remember who it is that you be. Remember who it is that you are. That light, that immortal light of divine illumination. That immortal light of divine illumination. You be that immortal light of the divine illumination. Remembering we have our full moon meeting tomorrow where we go much deeper into all of this i'm being shown to tell you all right now it seems like a funny moment but i'm being shown to tell you all right now um, because there are a few of you that it is of the utmost important for you to be able to come to that full moon meeting that there are more messages and tones that will come through you that are going to activate other energy centers that we won't be able to get to today, that we won't be able to get to right now, but that it will be important for you to receive those as well. Yaikaniya ya suakiyaniya Yokunahiya Yokunahiya Yokuahiya Balancing the scales of giving and receiving For those of you who are asking for a uh, contact reading Go ahead and open the palms of your hands Place your palms face up on your lap Whether it be your daughter or your nan, brother, sister, aunt, uncle. friend of mine that just recently passed away and I feel her coming through very strongly for myself right now and the message that she is sharing is um, that she's very clear in the intention of what it was that she has done and that there will be a turning point in light and in love where those around her and those closest to her and those who are grieving in a very challenging way right now will soon understand why it is that she did what she did it won't take long but once that question is answered the why she did what she did there's going to be a series of a chain of events that will elevate and illuminate the family members that will bring them into a greater place of light as well Ultimately, death and that breakdown of what once was leads to the cracking that allows the light to come in. So someone was asking for a contact reading with a daughter. I'm getting a little... Um, eight-year-old girl what she's showing me is that she wasn't eight years old when she passed but what she's showing me is that um, she's showing this particular expression for a reason 
So I feel her behind me. I feel her like she's if she, like if I was wearing a dress, it's like she's tugging on my dress. Um, she's showing and saying um, she's like very coy and she's very sweet. She's very timid. I think there's a lot, there's more anger in this, a lot of anger processing. I know I'm processing a lot of anger, so that can also be why this is a theme here. Um, what she's showing is that, um, it's interesting. It's like she can't, She showed up here, but then, again, she also doesn't want to be contacted in this way. Um, she's showing me that, again, it's like doing the public reading sort of thing. It's, it's not beneficial to the, the privacy of the family um, that is receiving the messages. And so she's showing me that it is important. Um, that's kind of funny. She's showing me that it is important that if anyone here does have a specific desire to connect with family, that they are able to do so very, very simply and very easily, again, by lighting a white candle and setting intentional space to be able to connect and listen. That's really what this is about. It's about being able to connect and listen, that I no longer have to be that conduit that each one of us, we're amplifying our own abilities. And so part of that is developing the self-trust. And as we develop the self-trust and being able to do what it is that we know that we are capable of doing anyway, especially we as females, because we have the ability to create human life inside of our body. That alone makes all of us mediums. This means we can feel the energy of our baby. This means that, that allows the connection to be there and to be alive. So females, it's a little bit easier to connect with the other side in that way. And for males, it's possible as well. It's just a matter of allowing the divine feminine nature within to be balanced and to be open in the way to be able to receive messages. Beautiful. All right, so Kelly, you want to learn so bad. Definitely tune into the Monad Society. The link is here in the description. Um, you will eventually you will get access to the Intuitive Connection Academy. Now, what's going to happen through that is that as you get access to that, you will be able to learn how to develop your own intuitive abilities, and there is a structure set in place there for it. In the meantime, the Moon Club recordings all include an extraordinary amount of beauty in light language that will also speed up the whole process of clearing out the channels. Beautiful. Oh, as I look at the container, I see a lot of people, again, hands, palms face up, and you will allow that family member to come to you, to speak through to you clearly. Setting that space, allowing it to be in stillness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Breathing in, breathing out. Allowing yourself to be in the receiving mode. This comes back to our theme in the beginning, that when you're allowing yourself to be open to receive the rewards and blessings from your spirit family, loved ones who have passed, as well as guides, angels, your higher self, this allows yourself to be open to receiving the blessings that they are bringing for you and to you, including healing energy, releasing those old codes, pulling yourself out of the butterfly cocoon, shifting into that place of strength within your own heart. Beautiful. You're all doing an extraordinary job. The amount of dense energy and dense layers that are peeling away is exponential right now.
and simply keep breathing. Feel what you feel. Notice what you notice. If you go off on your own journey and lose the sound of my voice, that's okay too. Follow your own guidance. Just know that you're being held in this space right now. I'm just going to go ahead and be quiet for a few moments. So breathe. Allow your higher self to drop in the information for you. affirmation that's coming up is I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. If you want to do some tapping with me, go ahead and tap your hands like karate chop right here. Start tapping. So this is EFT. It's emotional freedom technique. Tap on the meridian points and it helps move energy through your body. So this is going to help anchor and integrate uh, the healing that you have already received in this particular session. Beautiful. All right. Take a deep breath. I de tap above the eyebrows. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. To the side of the eye, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Below the eye, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Below the nose, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Above the chin, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Right below the collarbone, there's a little sensitive spot. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Then right under the armpit, right around the bra line, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then crown of the head. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Big deep breath in. And out, down through the grounding cord, root chakra, all the way down to the center of the planet once again. And release. Just feel all of that energy falling out of your body. Full release of the old codes, feeling yourself becoming lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Move any way your body is asking you to move. Beautiful. All right, Miss Kelly, let's go ahead and take a look at your heart. All right, so what I'm seeing is I, I actually am seeing that your son and your nan are right there with you. They are like, it's interesting because it's like they're there with you and they're happy and they're trying to tell you that they're okay. And what I'm seeing is, is your focus so intensely on the heartbreak that you're actually not able to hear them and you're actually not able to see them. It's like if they were right here in your periphery and you're focused on like this, you can't see them. So again, we're looking at focusing on the light. We're looking at focusing on the gift, the celebration of their life. We're looking at opening joy, illumination, amusement, excitement. All of these things open you up. And when you're in that state of open excitement, it actually allows for contact to happen. When we're in a space of dense, dark, sorrow, despair, it blocks us off. It clouds our abilities from being able to really fully connect with our own self, with our own higher self, with our own guides and with those loved ones who are around us. So when we're in an open space of receiving and when we're in an open space of joy and when we're in that open space of being able to just like cycle beauty through our own field, it really is a graceful and beautiful presence and opportunity to connect in fully with those of, those of our loved ones who are still here with us or interacting with us in life. Ah. <sighs> 
so beautiful. I'm feeling us coming to a point um, and a place of completion for this connection today. If you're just hopping on, or if you opt on halfway through, I do encourage you to go back, watch the beginning, check in with the replay. There are a lot of anchor points that came in right there at the beginning that helped to facilitate this movement. I see a lot of those loved ones who have come in and shared messages. I encourage you to find a pen and paper. You can even, like I said, comment it here in the comments. I personally would love to see some of them. What were your experiences? What were your breakthroughs? What did you see? What did you notice? I would love, love, love to hear from you. That part really is fulfilling to me to see how it was received for you since we can't be in person and share in that way. Um, so with that as well, of course, there is the donate link and also registration for the Monad Society above. If you are able to donate and uh, please do, this is also what I like to do is just take a moment to breathe in, open your heart space and go ahead and see a number. What is the number that looks and feels right and balanced for you and to you in exchange for this particular session? What is the number that is right and fair for you to be able also to tune in to the Monad Society with the recordings of Moon Club and also access to the Moon Club meetings? Taking a nice big deep breath. Breathing in, allowing your heart to continue to receive that fulfillment. Allowing your heart space to be trusting and open and releasing guards, pain, sadness, remorse. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel yourself surrounded by the rewards and blessings as you let go. Open yourself up to the rewards and blessings that are here for you. Acknowledging your pain, your anger, your regrets, whatever it is in your world that you haven't let yourself feel, I encourage you to give yourself more permission to feel them fully so that they can come out. Beautiful, my sweet loves. Beautiful. Letting go of the anger and resentment brought tears to your eyes, constant goosebumps, and felt lighter, full of peace. So grateful for this gift. Beautiful. When I was shedding the anger, I saw black, then beautiful golden color. Thank you. Beautiful. And Kelly, I can fully understand what you're saying. Thank you. I am eternally thankful for showing me new things. I will practice meditating when happy and look at the society. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do one more session of light codes here before we close that out, really fully completing this. Yokuasiawaya <laughs> Yo kuasi ati awa, ya kyo oa, yo kuasi ya, 
Ya ki ani o wa aya o wa o wa si ya ya. You're doing a fabulous job. You're much farther along than you think. The world around you is an illusion in comparison to what it is that you have created in your inner world. When you allow yourself to fully connect in with your inner world, your outer world will change. Your nucleus experience of what this life has in store for you will change. Connect in with the understanding that you are the center of your very own universe. You have more control on the levers than you think and simultaneously less control than you think. Allow yourself to surrender and co-create simultaneously. This is a delicate balance of which you are becoming better and better at fine-tuning. Be sure to create a morning routine as this morning routine will really help to streamline the focus of what it is that you are creating. When you create a night routine and allow yourself to go to bed at the same time every night, you will open your heart and open your dream space to be able to understanding that there is more for you here. We have an extraordinary amount of blessings and rewards for you, and we want you to be able to really tune in, tap in, and turn on to your highest and greatest ability to receive. This will effortlessly bring you into your potential of joy. You are deeply seen, you are deeply felt, you are deeply loved, you are deeply admired. As I love you, I appreciate you, I see you, and I'm so very thankful for you. So be sure to click on that link above in the description, join into the Monad Society, Feel that intuitive number of donation inside of yourself and offer the exchange for the healing and the codes that you've been able to receive here. And please know that I am graciously receiving them. Every single donation, every single little bit helps and in continues to put fuel in the engine so that I may continue to show up and serve as many people as I am able to do so during this time. So with that, my sweet loves, again, if you are just tuning in, please feel free to come back and listen to the recording. There has been so much beauty and so much grace that has come through this channel today. I do sincerely hope that you receive as much of the blessings and rewards that are there surrounding you as you are able to open and receive. And as we go forth, may we integrate the healing and the lessons received with courage, self-love, and compassion. Our session here today is very much complete. Thank you, my sweet loves. Mwah. I'll see you very soon. Please remember to share this and even the link with as many people as you are able. And help me get the word out there. Without you, I would not be able to do what I'm doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Ciao, ciao.